Hello everyone, I, uh, we are actually doing a video today because I want to introduce you to a, a new good friend of mine, uh, Derek Ross, who's uh, an artist. Uh, How's it going? And uh, you know, I, I came across Derek's art actually through uh, one of our, my mutual fr our mutual friends on Facebook, and I saw your art, and I was like, "This guy has got talent." And so I just want to let you know that I really became a fan of your art from the very first uh, time I saw it. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. So uh, we started talking about you know what we were doing with like monetizing artists and stuff like this, and the artistic following of people over at FutureNet and everything. And so we're going to talk more about that today and stuff. What we're doing monetizing art, so we're taking artists and putting them together on FutureNet because. A lot of the artists nowadays, as I was talking to an artist yesterday, Derek, they're getting ripped off because people can go print off an image anywhere, right? Correct, yeah. And so I like to have custom pieces or limited edition prints, and I saw uh, you know, opportunity with you and stuff like this, and I just really like. Uh, so uh, tell us about yourself, Derek, with the art uh, industry and your background, please. Uh, I'm a Seattle native, uh, kid, federal way born. Um, just a local artist basically i was in sales for pretty much most of my life and then i went to artistry because uh it, it it's what i like to do you should so, do what you um, want, like to do right yeah and people always <laughs> ask me every day like what can i do or uh, why are you working here or why can't you go you know make art or make artwork your living you know and yeah i always figured that they could pay my bills if that was the case but <laughs> say, it just seemed like a hard leap but i finally took the leap I've uh, been doing it strong now for four years. I was originally a kind of a, a sports portrait artist, uh -huh. but now kind of like... So you did stuff for some of the Seahawks? Yeah, I've done a ton of stuff you, right? for the Seahawks. Um, now reinventing myself kind of in a way to kind of, I, I guess, expand. I'm always and expanding. And I'm buying your website domain for your new uh, website. Today. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Up, so. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just did a new piece for uh, Ryan here uh, for his home. Yeah, yeah. So it's a uh, custom piece, one of a kind, one and only. Um, right, so I wanted, I wanted something. We're going to get to the art, guys, in a second for you to take a look. We're going to do a special unveiling. It's right here, so we'll get to that in a second. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. It's going to be um, replacing an IKEA POS uh, painting. <laughs> I call the painting speechless. Ooh, I like that. So, so it's kind of, you'll yeah, you know, we got to get rid of that Ikea art and have uh, custom stuff that actually means something uh, and stuff that resonates. I'm really trying to fill my home with like messages and stuff and stuff that resonates with me. And that's why I like artists like Mirror One and stuff. And these are artists like I, I like acquiring uh, their work. But, you know, um, I, I, Mirror One's girlfriend actually told me yesterday uh, uh, that uh, uh, Derek, he, he, she said, you know, she really, it's really cool. She supports it or, you know, work, believes in just like your girlfriend who works at Microsoft believes in you, mm -hmm. right? and I think that's really cool. I met your, your wife, excuse me, mm -hmm. your wife. wife. She's beautiful, she's amazing, she works at Microsoft and stuff, and she's letting you pursue your passions, but again, a lot of the artists are being ripped off out there. We have to find a way for artists to go ahead and get paid, right? Yes, like, correct, you know? yeah. I mean, people think that it just comes out of a printer and it's cheap, but actually people put their time and soul and everything into their craft, and well, I when people that. downgrade it, it it's kinda, it's, yeah, it's, it's not you, good. Yeah, the energy gets dispersed, you know, of the art, the hard work that you went into, the texture is lost, and the paintings uh, uh, being printed off off a of Hewlett Packard thing yeah, and stuff exactly, like that. Exactly. Yeah. And stuff. So let's just get down to it, man. You know, I, I wanted you to do something for FutureNet. Then it was my goal. Maybe you know we were talking about maybe having FutureNet uh, printing off prints, like limited edition prints, or so just throwing this out there, where um, you know the three and a half million members of the world's largest uncensored social media network could acquire um, uh, paintings uh, from artists out there that have limited funds and it's potential in a monetized uh, social media network that you could actually have uh, commissions actually go through to encourage, you know, through the Matrix compensation plan over Jason Matias it was over here yesterday. Shout out to Jason. He, he's beautiful, did a wonderful, he's with us now, so I can't wait to introduce you. And, uh, you know, so here we go, guys. So the whole concept uh, through a monetized social media structure where Robert Kiyosaki once said, your network is your net worth, that is how we can change the distribution of art and, and beyond taking the power back in the music industry I'm really honestly like I like talking to the artists because at the same time it's like they have less of a falling it's not so you know uh, a, a, you know it's more private it's more uh, the, the, there's a lot of power in a painting you know uh, with those music people kind of get lost in the celebrity and stuff it's like with artists they're just like I man just leave me alone I just want to paint you know so what else do you enjoy doing in life Derek uh, you got dogs artwork, really I have there dogs you go, just, art. yeah, I'm I just do. artwork I, I'm really like a hermit crab you lock me in a room with some paint Brushes, I'm set, so. so you guys, you see the concept here. We're, we're setting some stuff up with Montezar. Derek, let's go do go ahead and put a little unveiling together here. Okay. And I told Erica, we'll, uh, we'll show you the piece that it's going to be represent uh, uh, replacing here. 
Let me see. This is so exciting. I have, well, I've seen it, but I have not seen it live, so I'm letting you guys see it for the first time right here. This is badass. Derek, oh my gosh, look how big that is. That is, that is beautiful. Gosh, brother, this is an original. It's look at glow that. in the dark, fully black light activated. One of a kind. Dude, it is so much more badass in person than I didn't think it was. This is so awesome. So why don't you take us through this painting right here? You guys like this? Is that bad ass or what? Uh, go ahead and tell us what this is all about, brother. Go ahead and break it down. Straight uh, from the well, artist, first time. Ryan and I collaboration uh, piece. Uh, uh, and let's say it's a shout out to Mir One also. I'm gonna, well, give me one second here. Right, you you guys, Mir One, I, I took Derek through some of the Mir One art here in my home right here. So this consciousness one of him. And there's, you know, I'll show you one more and we'll get to that one sec. Derek, I want to show you guys one more painting. You know, this is Mir One also right here. So I explained to them in my bathroom, here's another Mir One right here. The whole concept that I like about this is the words. You really have to look in the details. I'm coming, Derek. And this is the POS Ikea. I encourage you all to get rid of your Ikea art. That's going to go like off the balcony in uno momento. Uh, but uh, Derek, okay, here, brother. Let's put this back up to where you can see it. Maybe up here on the table right there, right there. Okay, Derek. So go ahead, break it down, brother. Uh, so we got Statue of Liberty being gagged. How uh, come? Because... Uh, we we're talking about social yeah, media and about it, social uh, censorship. Media, Facebook censorship. and Twitter is censoring you. Exactly. While FutureNet is uncensored and encrypted. Go ahead. Basically, uh, she's got she's got teeth for eyes, so she can't see. But she would love to talk, but she can't because she's got no tongue. Um, you got buildings on the <clears throat> on the left side right here that are turning into candles, going from green. This is to like red, New York. Burning money. Uh, flinging it up in the sky. It wouldn't um, have been, this is kind of, we were talking about like New York and the bloodshed and stuff, or 9 11 and all this stuff. To, and I'll be in New York again this week for the United Nations, so I'm excited about that. I just found out I fly out tomorrow to New York, so let's so, talk about United Nations. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. So you got um, down here, you got uh, the uh, uh, DNA yeah, double the helix. DNA, double helix. You got uh, the FutureNet coin. Uh -huh, the Futuro coin, uh -huh. Futuro, Futuro the world's coin. first social media cryptocurrency that's on seven exchanges right now. Go ahead. Up here you have uh, feeding the, the hungry. Because that's what we're doing over at the FutureNet Foundation, working with the United Nations and Islam and, and uh, to, for spirulino allergy particularly, and because uh, Facebook ain't doing that. Okay. And then you got Jillian, Jillian Assange. Assange. Uh -huh. And that just kind of shows where people are being censored and controlled in the world when it comes to truth, guys out there. And then how about the chains, brother? The chains of the blockchain, pretty much just chaining everything together, uh, pretty much just taking the whole painting and, and making it one. Um, there's a lot of different things that went into this painting. Also, you see you got the hemp down here. Yeah, um, I, lo I love that. I love how you, gosh, look how you, the detail on that, bro, and the shadowing. Did you do airbrushing at all there? Everything's a lot of airbrushing. It's probably 90% airbrushing, probably 10% brushwork. Yes. Everything's all black light activated, so once the black light frame's on, uh, this thing's gonna glow in the dark and it'll also be charged during the day. So right? right when it starts getting dusk or whatnot, you're gonna start seeing glowing. Also, also, without it even being charged, you can still see it glowing during the day. Like, yeah, or, that's or a during the especially night, especially you my always a little bit darker in there and stuff like that, right? It'll just, you'll see it. And it's kind of creepy in a way, but you get used to it. Um, cool. But it's definitely a one of a kind, Ryan's painting. Yeah, this, this is amazing. You got the DNA, you got the, the cannabis. This is all dealing with like suppression of the chains being broken off. But at the same time, like cannabis going on the blockchain, the medical stuff going on the blockchain, the cryptocurrency, the Futuro coin, which is also on coin market cap, world's first social media cryptocurrency, four top of dash here on the blockchain, feeding the hungry again, which is our goal at FutureNet to end world hunger and also save the Amazon rainforest with our latest projects. Very exciting and stuff. Derek, let's go ahead and do the honors and trash that Ikea. We're gonna rip it down, we're gonna smash on it, brother, and then we're gonna hang this beautiful piece up. Sounds good to me. Let's see it come this way. This is how you throw away Ikea. No offense, Ikea, it's been fun. <laughs> okay, sorry, Derek, you got that, get that out of there. Sorry, anyone want a piece of junk? It's right there. Okay, go ahead, Derek, move that, and just throw it in the hallway. Cool, okay. So again, mere ones art is something that uh, was inspired. Uh, a little Bitcoin art in my bedroom, guys. You can see this, like a Bitcoin. But anyways, uh, oh, if, if we should be okay in the middle there for now anyways. Let me yeah. go ahead and see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We have to repos. Oh, it's perfect, bro. 
Look at right. that. Erica, we got the piece of art uh, hung up here on the wall now, and uh, it looks great, brother. Thank you. Looks really good, and uh, I just want to point out, uh, Mir One's uh, girlfriend said that, you know, art conveys a message beyond words, and uh, this is a great way to get the word out there about so much and into just one piece of art like uh, you've done here with all these covering these different uh, things. You know, so it's just people have to absorb it to really get the message, and then if they like this, obviously they could buy a print or something like this. Exactly. So. Yeah, a picture says a thousand words, so you could own one. Well, these at your home. So exactly. So take a look at Derek's art online and uh, register. Dangerous arts. There we go. And uh, just uh, glad to have your art in my home now, man. It's awesome. Thank you Thanks so for much. Thanks for having bro. me. Yeah. You're welcome. All right. Take care, guys. Take care.